No more delays. That was the last reading. The time has come together or not together. So what happened, Capricorn? You tell me. Okay. Um, are they still holding back with the judgment over here? And you're kind of tired already of the same situation every time, Sal. Well, we shall see. Um, we're going to pick up from the last reading. So I'll put it in the chat in the comments below. Um, so that you guys can pick up the energy where we left from and then here we are. So it is going to be a series here. Okay, so there's part one, part two. Um, we are continuing with the saga of the no more delay. Okay, let's see. And I'm going to explain also how the spread works. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Ooh, oh, okay. I have to hide this because YouTube will okay censor it. Okay. Your first card is the strongest, and this is you, is the devil card. Okay, let me explain the spread. So, this is spread, um, Capricorn. This is what is obvious. You're definitely gonna say, Wow, how does he know that? Um, oh, it's me, you know. So, it's not that difficult. If you draw cards, you will, it just picks up the energy and that's how it works. Um, because it's just what's obvious. All right. Now, behind the scene is more important than the obvious, really, because if you knew what was happening behind the scenes, then your judgment could have been different. Your actions, your choices would have been different. So, let's see what's happening behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. These are big factors affecting the connection and the relationship. These are what we call the turning point, the silver lining in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll explain further later on. You have the devil card as your first card right here. Someone here has succumbed to temptation. You won't see it, but the masculine energy his tail is lit by the devil, which means this person has been influenced already. Now, this is your card. It doesn't mean that you are the devil. It's just it's this Capricorn card. Um, the feminine energy over here um, is the part where, you know, it was, I feel like it was seduced okay, by the influence of the masculine. Now, the devil comes in different form, different shape, and different sizes. Okay, What I mean by that one is how it has influenced the relationship. It could be toxic argument. It could be manipulation. It could be codependent. It could be addiction. It could be anything that is extra. Too much love, same thing. Obsession, same thing is right here. So the difference of the devil over here is that uh, as above, so below. This is the same gesture you know, or posture of the magician. One hand to the ethers and then coming down. That's why your person right now okay, is making this sign not weird, but their acting can be out of character or they're toxic right now. They're full of drama. They just want to argue. It's all about fights every day, Sal. It's because as above, so below. It's happening up there and it's, you know, they're being influenced right now. You're just a spectator over here as the fe uh, feminine energy. Of course, you guys know already that there's a shackle in the devil card. Okay, so there's there's a connection between the two of you. And that one, the more you separate, the more it gets tighter. Okay? It's not supposed to be separation, it's supposed to be acceptance. Acceptance like and then it loosens up. And it's like, well, I just accept the situation. I'm not gonna fight this. You fight it, it becomes more tense, then it becomes more argumentative instead of just leaving it be. You're not doing it as a like, oh, I'm gonna be a pushover like that. No. You're accepting. You have clarity basically. The relationship is toxic. Doesn't mean you're accepting a toxic relationship. You're accepting the situation itself. You can't change it. Why? Because it's them. It's external. They're the one who's being influenced, not you. Okay? So, 
But of course, if you're a cross watcher, you're gonna say it's like, but this is reverse. But it's speaking of the energy. You can reverse any reading because it just you're just trying to reverse it. Okay. Let me see here. There's always a victim and the oppressor. So in any reading, that's how it works. So then you will just choose the victim. Then it resonates. But it's not really you. You're just you know trying to connect with it. Um, that's why you be careful when you watch Turo. Okay. The darkness over here. Okay. This is also, um, um, uh, how to say this, reflection of things that is unknown between the two of you. Okay. Let me see. You have the full card. Mm -hmm. Of course, second chances, right? Um, overcoming the obstacle here, starting a new beginning. Um, like what I mentioned already, this is the travel of the spirit to become human is magician. So this is spiritual card. Before you become human um, in Major Arcana, you are a full card. You're a spirit wandering around what it is to have a human experience, basically. Because the pouch over there is the human experience. Ace of Pentacles, Cups, Wands, all those things in the table is there in the full card. Once you become human, you can have money, you can have goals, dreams, right? Those are on the table. That's human experience. You learn from it. You don't know anything about being human when you're here. Because mm -hmm. it's a spiritual card. But this is also a card of taking a leap of faith and danger. You're going to give a chance to the devil. Which means that you're giving them the benefit of the doubt instead of doubting them. Now, I feel like this has been a cycle already. You keep giving them how many chances. This is your spirit guide telling you, be careful. You're going to give it another chance. What are you doing? But for you, it's like you're totally clueless. You're definitely um, mesmerized by your person. There is this part of you that just cannot resist them. Mm -hmm. Last time it was Page of Swords over here. Last time it was Nine of Pentacles. Before you were independent, now you're codependent. Before you could care less, you know, but you, you know, um, Page of Swords, like you investigate, now you're going towards them. Something has changed here. You had the Nine of Wands. Okay, you're pursuing someone that you're scared of. Will of Fortune before in your previous reading. I'm looking at it. Um, if there was a delay before or no more delay, um, I feel like right now it's all about... Because the Nine of Wands is this wall. The Nine of Wands is this barrier that you guys have between each other. And it doesn't move until, you know, like the other people has influenced the connection. Okay. Stop yapping, basically. These are the naysayers telling this person, it's like, yeah, you're the victim. Yeah, you should have done that. Yeah, should have. And then this becomes, this person who's wounded becomes influenced by that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your person can be influenced easy and same thing as you are. Okay. By outside factors. Because these are the outside factors. Either influence to fight for the connection or influence to block the connection. Okay. You have the Knight of Wands. Uh -huh. Fiery nature, fast, Sagittarius. So I feel like someone here is trying to, um, how to say, manifest the connection like right away. Because the Knight of Wands is this excited, a thrill seeker, you know, oh, it doesn't matter if I'm hurt, you know, but they're hurt, but they're still going to go and you're still going to give it a chance. So um, it feels like a kind of like a karmic cycle that you have now with your person. Um, one day you just met someone and you're in this whole bubble and right now there's no going out of it because you haven't really, um, how to say this, made this fine, uh, you know, final judgment. Okay. Sad just got the judgment here. So if, if they're separating with you, you will see because they got judgment. Then you have the Knight of Pentacles. There it is. So your person is very much quick on changing their mind, pursuing you, stopping, pursuing you, stopping. The horse is, um, you know, um, already feet on the floor, which means no movement. And this one is swift movement. This one is stop. So from swift, they stop um, from what, giving an offer, rethinking the offer now. They doubt you also, and they doubt the connection if it's ever even going to get better. Okay? The difference of the knights over here is the motion of the horse. But same thing, you know, the face is being revealed. Um, so this is about being vulnerable so they can be open for communication, but not as much as the knight of swords. 
um, this pentacle over here, when they hold it like this, you know, it's definitely about a serious offer. So think of it as this is an Ace of Pentacles. But they took that back. Okay? They changed their mind. Instead of offering you something um, concrete, now it's just about like, let's just see each other have fun. Right of one. So this is a casual, casual card. Hermit. Okay? This is a journey of the soul. Okay? So... It feels like your person took back the offer, meaning they didn't give it to you, and then now they find themselves alone. They have the Ten of Wands here before, they have the Four of Cups here before, which only means that they are stubborn. They refuse to allow this connection, hence you want it more, isn't it? The more you can't have it, the more you want it. And they're not allowing you to have it. They do. Um, they do separate themselves here. But with the Hermit, it's showing, you know, there's a golden staff over here. Now they're thinking smarter. This is their connection. This is Merkaba. This is like connecting with their God or their creator and trying to seek answer to this connection. They do find it toxic. They are feeling hurt also. So it feels like the feeling is mutual between the two of you. Ooh, seven of wands, restriction. Okay. Either Scorpio have this card. That's your first card. This is three of cups before. Which means now someone is refusing to reconcile this connection. This is, uh, you know, this is the travel to become successful. Six of Wands, they were traveling. They, everybody was liking them. And then now everybody hates them. Because mm -hmm. you climbed. Your person either has, has the, um, you know, is now hated by your friends or family because of what they have done to you. So these are influence. Before they have supporters, now they have basically detractors over here. And they're trying to protect their name. Okay? So this person right now is in a corner, you know, because of this. Whatever actions that they've done to you, they're trying to say, it's like, no, that's not me. No, that I didn't do that. So they keep refusing this. But they know something that, you know, basically they're not telling you. Okay? But you're calling them out for this. That's why you're removing the full card over here. You're saying, I can't be with you anymore because anything that I ask, you're saying no. Everything, the truth that I know, you're saying that's not the truth. And with the Nine of Wands, now they become defensive. So whoever supporting them before, they got find out also. Mm -hmm. And now they feel very much alone and oppressed because there was Ten of Wands here. So that's the what's obvious. Okay, Behind the scenes, your person is blocking you. There's something influencing. They're not talking to you again. Okay, um, you know, Because for whatever reason, this card that triggered them to be alone, they're going to stay there for a while because this is also no movement. No movement, no contact, you know, from a person who's all go go before something has changed. Okay, so this is the card of um, behind the scenes. Let's see now. Okay, your grand reveal. Let's answer the questions here in the devil. Why can't let go of this person? There's a part of you that is obsessed about them, thinking about them day and night. Okay? So that's that. And then the full card, should you give this a chance, let go already, or is there something here that needs to be addressed? Why are they defensive? Why have they, you know, restricted connection right now with you? And what are they blaming you for, right? With the Knight of Wands, they're coming in fast, strong first, and then they change their mind, Knight of Pentacles, so... What happened that they changed their mind? Mm -hmm. We're not done. Guys, so I have uh, um, another deck. Hermit is the part where they ghosted you. And then Seven of Wands is the part where now they're basically blocking any kind of communication from ghosting to blocking. You will see something on the screen. Okay. We're also, ooh, we have this a wonderful promotion about the 888. Nothing lasts forever, but our bracelet does, our beaded bracelet, because it's 888. Okay, so do check that out. Uh, it's a special promo that we have right now. And also, um, also what is flashing on the screen for the extended reading. But before you go there, make sure to watch the previous reading in the comments below. That's the part one from the No More no more Delay. The time has come together, not together. So easy. You just go there, click it. But let's stop it off your reading here, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. 
ooh, the triad about moving forward. But there is a but. Okay, can't move forward until they have you know, have a conversation with you because they said like they need time to think about a situation. This is someone who's meditating, contemplating. You're struggling to move forward. You want to, but you're feeling stuck. Link down there in the description box below. Well, let's answer all of your questions with the grand review and the behind the scenes. Everything's going to be down there. Thank you, and I'll see you guys again. Bye.